I want a community that stays a community. I think that's the first thing. It needs to be a place with a soul and, a, and, a, and an identity. I don't want to lose that in the crush of growth. As Oregon continues to grow in population, I think the key to our future generations is maintaining a quality of life and a quality of environment. The beauty of our outdoors is just such a great quality of life issue that we have to continually think about how to maintain that for the future. Most of my experiences as a resident of and, and a member of the City Council of Tigard, and what we consistently heard from residents of Tigard is their first priority is their neighborhood. I'm on the Bend City Council and I'm uh, chair of the Bend Metropolitan Planning Organization. I think the people of Bend are most concerned about maintaining the beauty and the livability that brought them here to begin with. As the community continues to grow, how do we keep it a wonderful place? And that planning is, is what's really important and part of this greenhouse gas process as well. The Greenhouse Gas Reduction Toolkit is a wide variety of options that communities have to put in place that will reduce greenhouse gases. The beauty of it is what the city of Corvallis or Portland want to do in their community might not be what the citizens of Bend want for their community. As we look at ways to implement our plans with, a, with reducing greenhouse gases, not every community is going to want to meet that challenge in the same way. If we can provide them with a toolkit of different options that they can choose to use, and option number one or, or tool number one, number five, and number seven might work for Gresham, where tool number two, six, and four work for Beaverton. The community gets to decide what's best for them. So if you want to increase bike and ped, if you want to increase transit, if you want to do uh, more uh, mixed use development, if you want to do different kinds of planning uh, between land use and transportation, there's a wide variety of options. They can all have a very positive impact on the environment. One of the nice things about uh, uh, most of the things in the toolkit are that they impact the entire community. They're not just focused on uh, one particular neighborhood or one area of town. If we build uh, a trail that goes along the river all the way through town, everybody's gonna benefit from that. Well, everybody better benefit. That's the bottom line of equity. Both the benefits and the burdens of the kinds of choices and decisions we make as a region, those need to fall equally on everyone. Well, there are still some people who don't believe that greenhouse gases are an issue. And to those people, uh, I say, well, okay, so let's forget about greenhouse gases. Wouldn't you like to keep the beauty of our community and plan the community in a way that's better and have more bike and ped trails and better transit uh, and just a better livable community? Uh, and forget about greenhouse gases. And when it comes to, uh, to climate change, frankly, it's not a big issue for the citizens in my community, even in Tigard. And I don't think it is an enterprise either. But a lot of the same things that we want to do to reduce greenhouse gas emissions also goes just toward making our community a nice community to live in anyway. And whether it results in preserving the climate or not, I still want clean air, I want clean water, that resonates with everyone in Oregon, whether you live in the urban part or the rural part.